I'm gonna do Rabadan, and I'm gonna do Rabadan properly. Why? Well, I feel as though, now that I read the Quran, that the Rabadan is like the one thing the most secular, non-Muslim people know about the Muslims. The, the month of fasting, no food, no water, during the daylight. I've always had conversations of my curiosity it, it delving into Ramadan and seeing what it's like. But now that I've been going to the mosque for a full month and, and hearing the conversation in Jumma where people are very excited, very like looking forward, like the, the amount of times I've heard that Ramadan is the best month is somewhat perplexing to me. And I suppose it's because uh, non-Muslims would think that, you know, the, the obligatory non-eating, non-drinking throughout the daylight sounds horrendous and therefore to attribute it as being like the most looked of, like like the, the most was like the most enthusiastic month. It is is still to me somewhat perplexing, but maybe I have to go through with it to understand why. Now obviously there's the spiritual side. During the month of Ramadan, all rewards are multiplied. So to the Muslims within Islam, it is a month not of maybe personal growth but spiritual growth. If I recall what the brother said in Jubba, it's that all attributes are multiplied by 10. And there is a precedence in reading the Quran, in reciting the Quran, in remembering the Quran to do Salah, the five obligatory prayers, to, I suppose, to embed yourself into the religion. It's not just about fasting in regards to food, but also fasting in terms of wants. Yeah, the wants and desires, the ones that don't strictly take you out of the fold of Islam, but maybe not building the connection with Allah, but, but bridging that connection between you and Allah. And Ramadan seems the time to do it. So what, what do I want to get out of baby's first Ramadan? Let's call it that. I wanted to give you the impetus to read more of the Quran because I've walked away from it for a few weeks and with every passing day, I want to go back to the Quran. I've tried reading other books and I just want to read the Quran. Now there are some Islam specific things that I want to achieve, but to the secular, to the non-Muslim, most people who I've been talking to within my community saying, I'm going to do Ramadan, they, they they say the, the one thing of, do you think you're going to lose weight? So, uh, possibly, I'm not entirely sure. I feel as though if I just gorge in the evenings, then it, it might do like a, a net. But but you know what? Let's find out. To the weight scales. 18 and a half stone. With, with my clothes on, but we'll wear the exact same attire. We will we'll keep it fair. But the weight loss is a determined factor, but you know what? Losing a few pounds, you know, it's not going to be bad, is it? While losing weight seems to be the secularist view of Ramadan, the other one is, 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 am I going to lose my sanity? No, this is the one thing, I, I think the first week of Ramadan, I'm going to eat these words so hard, I think the first week of Ramadan is going to be the hardest, because I drink a lot of coffee, especially in the mornings, I have two kids, three jobs, so I think the caffeine hit is going to hit very hard, and I'm going to be hungry and agitated. So I'm, uh, I, uh, <laughs> about this a long time, but let's not focus on that. Let's focus on the fact that non-Muslims in general are curious. Like I am getting a lot of questions from the community about Islam, about Ramadan, about the Quran. So people definitely are intrigued and want to learn about it, which is always a good thing. Curiosity, even though it does kill a cat in the meantime. But I think in doing Ramadan, I think it's going to open up the conversation. And I'm fairly open book. I don't mind talking to people. And if it answers their questions about Islam, about Ramadan, about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, or anything that they've always wanted to ask but never really had the right person to ask. Not that I think that I'm the right person, but I'm a person and in asking, that's going to help anyway. But those are the secular, more the passive aspects of Ramadan. But the, the objective is what I actually want to do is to nail Al-Fatiha. I want to give Adhan in the mosque. Don't ask me why, I'm, I'm just curious by it. I, I, but I want to do it, I want to do it. I want to read more of the Quran and make more videos on the Quran. And just because five would be a nice number, wouldn't it? Uh, I, I, I want to actually do Ramadan. <laughs> I don't want to see my 
far the more I think about it, the hard this is going to be. But again, the first week, I think the first week is going to be a struggle, plain, smooth, say that I, 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 I hope. I hope it's going to go that way, eh? But I'll document it, and we'll see how we go, eh, people? 